Ringmer's got a bit of a reputation now for environmental awareness, I think is the best way to describe it. We're national award winners of things like the Green Flag for Eco Schools, we've won an Ashton Award. But I think more importantly than that, we've really given our kids an insight into the sort of issues they're going to face in their future. The problem with oil is when it's gone, it's gone. So we're going to have to look towards other sources of energy. Put your hand up if you can name a source of renewable energy. Solar energy. Yeah. Water power. Water, yeah. Uh, biomass. Yeah, biomass. Wind power with the wind turbine. Wind power. What always disappointed me really is being that education seems to be lagging quite a long way behind what's going on at home. I mean, I'll go into a primary school and see 300 kids and ask them how many are recycling at home. Probably 90% of them will put their hand up. How much do they do at school? Very little. This is our wind turbine, which costs £18,000, which was a grant from the Green Fund. Um, it does work when it's like really windy on days, and that makes about two and a half kilowatts of energy. We use it to contribute to the amount of electricity we use every day. The PV panels installed on the roof uh, create 7.5 kilowatts of energy per hour. Uh, they're grant funded. There is a readout screen in Geo 7 which has like uh, how much we've used in total, how much it's produced today, this week, and it uh, generates about 10% of our school's energy. The ground source heat pumps are undoubtedly a great success. We're just installing a 450 kilowatt biomass boiler. So apart from wave power really, we've been able to demonstrate to the children that renewable sources can actually work, they can actually be used as part of a business or part of their normal life. People who are quite passionate about the environment get to become an environmental prefect or an eco-rep. And there's about 220 eco-reps altogether. We have in every classroom a uh, poster, which is a list of rules made up by students that you need to follow if you are an eco-rep. Which is like turn off radiators if they're not used, close doors, turn off lights, tell teachers to turn off their monitors, things like that. So don't forget to turn your order off. I'll turn the lights off for you. Since I've become an eco rep, I've definitely like thought about more what I'm doing at home and saving electricity and things like that. Most people would probably not go as far as having a wind turbine in their back garden. The wind turbine has been a very important part of our package. It's become almost an iconic thing with the kids. We got them involved in the planning process. We actually took them to the parish council where they spoke to the planning application committee there. They become part of the client deal. That's what we try and establish. If you look at our biomass border, if we were getting wood from Scandinavia and it was being brought by lorry and then in a ship, it wouldn't be very environmentally friendly. So we've actually written into the contract that our wood chip's got to come from within a 30 mile radius. When I started this project, the school bursar or business manager here was very wary of me because I think she thought I was going to spend a lot of money. Now I'm probably her best friend because we've saved considerable amounts of money. I mean, on refuse and recycling, for instance, we've managed to save three or four thousand pounds a year. On energy reduction, we're saving probably in excess of twelve thousand pounds this year. Our biomass boiler will save around three hundred tons of carbon a year and will provide a financial saving of around a quarter of a million pounds in its twenty-year life. We don't have the vandalism problem we used to have, we don't have the litter problems we used to have, because kids are beginning to be aware now that what they do actually matters. I'm really proud that the school's given us the opportunity in a way. I know that we're making a difference for our future. We're the generation that's going to be living it. We should be the ones to make a change. <laughs>